Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabora here. Good grief. It's been 65 years already. 65 years since uh, October 2nd, 1950, when the Peanuts comic strip has arrived. And we already passed that, since it's now November. And it's going to be 50th anniversary for A Charlie Brown Christmas, which is going to be later on. But that's not the only thing that's important about, is that our favorite beagle of all time, Snoopy! <laughs> In fact, just today, he was honored by the Hollywood Walk of Fame, already getting a lot of recognition and for the honor of the new movie, The Peanuts Movie. Which, by the way, I just went to uh, a world premiere yesterday at the Westwood Village, having an awesome time. And yes, I am definitely going to review the movie, but not until it comes out. Because I'm going to see it again <laughs> with my family. But Snoopy right here has always been one of my favorite beagles that and of course Charlie Brown but he's the one that has a personality the kind of dog that you really love I mean he's so cute friendly and you just want to hang out with I mean after all he definitely has tons of characters of his own I mean he's Joe Cool he's a World War One flying ace the mass marble hell he's even the uh, the vulture he can do anything and he can grab uh, Linus's blanket you know and runs around and swinging him all the way up in the air as he let goes of the blanket <laughs> you know he always um, you know, knocks by kicking his foot on the door in case he gets hungry all the time because he always wants supper time supper time supper time you know trying to give <laughs> Charlie Brown the attention he needs yeah you know, he always has his trusty friend a, a little yellow bird named Woodstock and of course he does kiss Lucy in the nose on his lips <laughs> Yuck! I've been kissed by a dog! Mm -hmm. Well, anyway. But he's the kind of dog that Charlie Brown has had all of his life. In fact, it was supposed to be um, a gift from him after he's been teased a lot um, at a local park. Yeah, where, or, yeah, at a local park where where one of the kids actually poured sand on his head and, and started crying so he thought this would be the perfect gift for him and after all why can't we have a dog like Snoopy? exactly Snoopy's uh, love of his life happens to be a white poodle named Fifi yep she's Snoopy's sweetheart <laughs> Not to mention, uh, Snoopy even has a family, including his brother Spike, who lives all the way from Needles, California. Yep, he even has a sister named Belle, Olaf, I think there was Andy, Marvel, yeah, you name it, there's like a lot of them. I mean, sometimes I don't remember much of the names, that, as far as I'm concerned, but that's because we don't see him very often but you'll probably find that on Snoopy's reunion <laughs> and all that but yeah <laughs> because they're also a part of the band too from from the, when they were also part of it you know because they after all <laughs> they were at the, the Daisy Hill puppy farm as we know it but yeah, I mean, so cute. But of course, uh, I did got this plush doll of Snoopy 
which even has the Camp Snoopy on the side at Knott's Berry Farm back in 2009. It was the most biggest gift I ever owned. Uh, in fact, my mother gave it to me when we went over there during uh, Halloween night. Perfect time for it, so I thought, why not? Yeah, it was a perfect gift. <laughs> and that's why I love Snoopy so much. Yeah, and of course he even sleeps on his uh, doghouse, which is right here. Yeah. See? His own doghouse. The kind of doghouse he would need so he can sleep upside down like this. Oh, I know, he's so big. <laughs> so you can relax and watch the stars. You can even type on a typewriter. Um, you can offer um, Woodstock to type on a typewriter. And, you know, just to write a story or send a letter. And, of course, you can go after the Red Baron by dressing up as the World War I Flying Ace. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, let's face it. We all need Snoopy. Because he's a great friend. Pal. Funny. Lovable. And very cute. I love him. And he definitely needs a squeeze. So, for Snoopy, congratulations on being the first Beagle to have the Hollywood Walk of Fame. And I thank you. So anyway, I'm Joseph A. Saboro. And say hi Snoopy. And we'll see you later. Bye.